Welcome to Market Meeting Live Stock Analysis and Q&A, 7th August 2019. I'm Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. Before I begin, I go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profit's trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In this session, I will review the global market as well as the USA market, and then look for trading opportunities using bottom-up analysis. This is different from the weekly market roundup video that I publish every week in the YouTube channel, which uses top-down analysis. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. Let's start with global market analysis. We start with Australia market, AXJO. I'm opening AXJO, Australia market index with the default weekly, daily, what we call at a glance chart template. We call it at a glance because using this at the right edge, we can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity. In the weekly chart, AXJO went up for many weeks. The bullish headwind could catch the very bottom of the previous downtrend. Prior to that, the bearish headwind could catch the very top of the previous uptrend. One week ago, we had one bearish shape candle with long upper tail. And this week, price dropped sharply. It came close to a memory support line, but didn't quite touch that. In the daily, price was going up with higher high, higher low in uptrend. Then it made a lower low. Came very close to the memory support line and today went up a little bit. Because it made a lower low and we had higher high earlier, there is no clear trend and we may stay away from taking any swing trade. What can be a possible trade? If price could hit the memory support line with heavy activity, which was there, and then bounced up from there, then we could apply the Q bounce long trade setup and take a very low risk long trade, buying it as it bounced up from the memory support, putting stop just below the memory support line. But it didn't happen. Price didn't touch the memory support and bounce up. So we didn't have that opportunity. Not yet at least. The Australian market Direction is indecisive. There is no clear trend. What about the China market? Let me review that using China CSI 500 index. This is bearish. In the weekly chart, price is in a downtrend. The last two weeks, backdrop candle color is bearish. And the shape of the current week is also bearish. The next trend line support is some distance away. In the daily also, price is going down with lower high, lower low. This bearish headwind signal could catch the previous up moves very top. Now price is below the lower boundary. It is oversold, shown by the stretch band indicator. 
therefore it is in a downtrend how about oversold we are not going to take any short trade right now and because it is in a downtrend we are not going to look for any buy setup what can be the next possible trend i can see there is a memory support both in weekly and daily around 4400 if price comes there and then bounces up then you may look for a buy opportunity either in the index itself or even better in one of the constituent stocks that is fundamentally strong what about hong kong market that is also bearish hang seng index bearish however i can see it has hit the memory support today and it has indecisive candle solid body showing it is bearish long lower tail showing it is bullish therefore the shape is mixed color is bearish the backdrop candle color is bearish for three weeks now it has hit support in the weekly as well as in the daily in fact daily gave a bounce long trade setup today this is one setup that i was talking just a few minutes earlier if an instrument drops sharply and suddenly then hits a pre-existing trend line support and then reverses closing higher accompanied by heavy activity the hypothesis is that there was heavy activity however price reversed therefore it may be related to more buying at least as of today buyers stepped in more aggressively that's what caused price to go up and we could consider taking a long trade putting stop just below the recent low and because it is a sharp reversal trade setup we could book profit once the risk distance is covered maybe somewhere here therefore hang seng index dot hsi has given a box trade setup sorry not box bounce trade setup today where can you get more detail about these trade setups in q technique we have identified four setups that you can take using the indicators scans etc they are mentioned in the trade setup menu one for trending market one for reversing one for sideways one for exhausting if you click on any of the trade setups that will show the checklist that we can apply to decide if there is a low risk entry at the right edge according to the setup and i applied that to know that there is a bounce long trade setup in hang seng index today if you watched hang seng index last couple of days you would know that it was severely bearish when it was dropping in this area i noticed 100 percent of the stocks were down on some of these days even today it was initially weak but we can see it recovered this is giving a bounce trade setup what about india market nsei the nifty index this is bearish this i have been discussing in previous webinars also the bearish headwind in the weekly could catch the very top at the same time the bearish headwind in the daily also got the very top since then the weekly is having magenta color backdrop on this day i mentioned there was a trend following go with flow setup short trend i also mentioned earlier that partial profit would be booked at the lower boundary with discipline and the remaining position is still being held with a trailing stop how to use trailing stop one way is to see if price is closing above this resistance memory if it closes above the resistance memory you might 
exit the remaining position. The other way is using the Q protection signal. That is the cyan color dots in this template, the stop loss template. If price can close above the cyan color dot, then you could exit the remaining position. And you can see as price is going down, cyan dots, the short position stop loss signal is also coming down, hugging the price, not too close to be stopped away by whipsawing, but protecting the profit while not stopping us out from whipsawing. Those are two possible techniques you could use for stopping out of the remaining position with trailing stop. I prefer to use the Q protection stop signal. We saw that Australia market is indecisive. China market was declining. Hang Seng mark, Hong Kong market was down but gave a bounce long trade up trade setup today. That is an extreme reversal trade setup. And India market is continuing to be bearish. What about the British market, FTSE index? This is looking bearish, the daily is still loading. In the weekly, we had a backdrop color magenta candle one week ago and this week it dropped again. Let me try to reload it. Sometimes when connecting with Reuters, which is repetitive now, it gives some error, connectivity error. Try again, FTSE. Okay, successful now. In the weekly, we have bearish backdrop color for two successive weeks. It has broken below the memory support. In the daily, there is a memory support nearby. If price can come there and reverses from there, then it may also give a bounce long trade setup. You may look for that either in the FTSE index or as I prefer in one of the constituent stocks that is strong. Every stock within FTSE will not be equally strong in terms of fundamentals. Instead of buying the FTSE as a bounce long trade, you could drill down into the underlying stocks, look for a stock that is fundamentally strong and is also going up as FTSE is bouncing from the memory support if that happens. That is the same approach you could apply to Hang Seng Index today. Instead of buying Hang Seng Index, why not drill down, find a stock that is fundamentally strong. Every stock will not be strong fundamentally and also is going up. Maybe also giving a bounce long trade setup or maybe trend following long trade setup, box setup, etc. We can see globally, all the markets drop this week and probably previous week also. Hang Seng is the only one that has found support today. Let's have a look at the US market now. I will use the ETFs for that. And I will use Q Elite on trade station. SPY, S&P 500 ETF displayed bearish headwind for these two weeks. I mentioned about it during the webinars earlier, I took several short trades at that time. The daily also displayed a bearish headwind. And then in this area, price dropped heavily. It hit the white direction line. And today for the third day, the white direction line is holding. It is oversold far below the lower boundary level. This is not a time when Q technique suggests taking a short trade. The best short trades would be taken using this bearish headwind or the weekly bearish headwind at that time. And then instead of shorting SPY again, it would be wiser to short one of the weak fundamental stocks that was also falling down. 
now it is too late to short instead one might look for a buy setup but will it be in spy my hypothesis is if we are going to buy something by the strongest one both in terms of fundamental or technical if we are talking about market etfs why don't we look at the other market etfs to see if they are stronger let's look at dow jones industrial average this is slightly weaker as of this week the weekly backdrop color is magenta bearish and it is also below the weekly memory support that is similar to spy however here the daily today's candle is still below the white direction line that's why i mentioned it is weaker than spy in spy the white direction line is still holding so if i'm going to buy i would not buy daya is there a candidate that is better than spy let me look at iwm the russell 2000 this is not looking stronger and in a number of for several months market roundups and wednesday or thursday market meets i have mentioned this was the weakest of the four market etfs i study IWM was inside a triangle pattern if in when price went up on this day during the week it was appearing that it might close higher on that day in the market meet webinar at that time I mentioned that we have to see for the end of the week and at the end of the week it broke below the triangle pattern and this week it is dropping it is far below the white and yellow direction line far below the lower boundary also it is oversold it is the weakest of the three etfs we saw so far therefore i am not going to buy iwm neither am i going to focus on the small cap stocks last one that we could look at is qqq and this is looking the strongest of the four not looking bullish by any means but it is looking the strongest for a reversal trade setup because the weekly could not break below the memory trend line support and daily also has a memory trend line support that is holding for last three days in fact yesterday if the candle didn't have an upper tail we could consider taking a bounce long trade bounce long trades are extreme reversal trades they may be taken using option verticals and we could look at the option volatility to decide whether to use long call verticals or short put verticals today you can see initially price went down hit the memory support and then went up that was the precise time when the long could be taken what was the memory support line that was at 180.2 180.2 so knowing that we could move to the intraday chart and let me draw a horizontal line at that price point 180.2 this was the price point so we knew that the daily memory support was there at that level and we knew price bounced from that level one day earlier today initially price opened lower at this point blue pivot level previous test close was here so it opened with a down move then it tried to go down a little bit it hit the daily memory support precisely reversed from there it gave a bull release signal on this candle at that time it also displayed bullish pressure this is the 10 minute chart using the q fine-tuned template if you used five minute chart you could take a slightly earlier entry let's 
change to five minute chart. In the morning session, I tend to use five minute interval in the afternoon session, 10 minute interval. This is five minute chart, same QQQ and we have the same daily memory support line at this point. Now we can see after price open, it dropped, hit the daily memory support and refers from there we had a bull release signal here with a pressure, bullish pressure. In fact, that was also bullish pressure U-turn. That was the point where we could take a long trade putting stop just below the recent low. As price went up and hit this pivot and subsequently hit the magenta pivot, which was previous day's close, more than risk distance was covered. The risk distance would be this lower distance and the profit was this much. So a day trader could book full or partial profit. If partial profit was booked, then trailing stop could be used so that the entire trade remains risk-free even if one gets stopped out. That is how when there is a support line in the daily interval or weekly, in this case, it was in both daily and weekly, that is even better. And we are prepared to take a long trade. We may switch to the intraday five minute interval in the morning session or 10 minute interval in the afternoon session and use the extreme pressure and bull release signal to take a reversal trade with extremely low risk. After that, it seems price is coming down, but the profit would be booked. And if we are trading with options, then we, we could book a number of lots profit in such a way that we get our money back and leave the remaining lots in place to see if it is moving up further. So we could initiate it using intraday chart, but leave a few lots in the market overnight to see if it continues to go up. That is a review of the USA market ETFs. It is not bullish. However, if one is looking for a buy setup, NASDAQ stocks may give the best buy setups. Which stocks to focus on? Let's look at some value stocks as well as some growth stocks to see if there is any possible buy setup using the Q standard trade setups or maybe a breakout setup if some of you are following IBD kind of methodology. In the website, we have codified four trade setups because we could make unambiguous checklists for these trade setups, one for trending market, one reversing, one sideways, one exhausting. However, many other trade types are possible using Q systems. For example, trades like IBD trade setups or HGSI trade setups, etc. The starting point would be to create a list of stocks that is growth stock for growth stock investors and also value stocks. So what I have done, I have first found about almost 3000 stocks that are liquid stocks in the USA market. ZYXI starting from A. Then I have put them in Q vital to get their fundamental statistics, vital statistics. Then if I want to invest in value stocks, I could click the smart filter, the fully charged battery. And now I have all the value stocks here. And this data is latest. I put it today itself. So I could copy the symbols and I could create a symbol list from that. Let's say USA value stocks, actually undervalued stocks, undervalued stocks, 7th August and we could save it as a list. If we wanted to save the list in TradeStation, 
then we could go to the ticker column and copy this list into trade station sonar that is the radar therefore irrespective of whether i am using meta stock or trade station q global or q elite i could create a list of the undervalued stocks let me go back to q vital refresh the data now i am looking for growth stocks there is another smart icon this money symbol currency symbol if i click that it is going to run multiple searches to filter only the stocks that are having excellent earnings growth over one year period two year period as well as three year period i can make a list of that meta stock usa good stocks 7th august save and if i wanted to do the same in trade station one way is to go to the ticker symbol another easier way i can explain we could set the trading system to q elite go to stock sorry go to stock select all the stocks that are high growth stocks then click the chart symbol if we have set our trading system to q elite clicking the chart symbol doesn't open the chart but it copies the symbols not the writer symbols here but copies the corresponding ticker symbols into clipboard and let me delete the value stocks and paste the growth stocks now we have the growth stocks in trade station let's try to look for some buying opportunities from the growth stocks we could apply the same approach to value stocks undervalued stocks as well and as you can see trade station takes a while especially when i'm running the webinar to calculate all the data while trade station is calculating what i can do i go to cube vital let me see if i can do it faster in cube vital shorten the list i click the play button okay my symbol list is gone okay i have this symbol list let me get the symbol list to dashboard put it here and let me click the play button so it is now retrieving the latest statistics as of now in real time it has updated the data i can go to the scorecard now i am looking for buy setups therefore i can look at one day percentage and double click on the header to sort by it these are the stocks that are going up the bold case will indicate top 20 percent of the stocks that are going up so though the market is bearish we can see a large number of stocks are still going up i don't need to look for the other stocks probably they are either declining to this person is negative or still twenty percent for long twenty percent those 
I now click the symbols into and so going to there are four balls yeah I start with in found box there anything that three period to one I click then the Um, down so and um, um, so now I'm going to get it we look for or bound it if possible it's a the data there's this will land for this part it's better a person it is also breaking out shown by this breakout column the flow candle color is cyan that may be an optimal entry point for a trend following long it has bullish pressure and also bullish pressure u turn the direction is dark green showing that it is in between the yellow and white direction line traffic light is red option volatility is very low Therefore, one might consider buying using options also. Buying options, not necessarily only shelling options. ALNY, we will need to confirm the setup using the chart. Let's look at the chart. And this instantly, we didn't look at the chart before. We started with fundamentals. Then we looked at high growth stocks moving up to 20% of that. Then we looked at the radar. We could decipher a lot of information from other parts, fundamentals and radar, even before looking at the chart. And when we looked at the chart, it looks instantly quite interesting. In the weekly, it is inside a triangle pattern. Price started to move up. The backdrop candle color changed to cyan for several weeks. It is still inside the triangle pattern. This week's candle shape is very bullish, very much opposite to what the market is doing. In the daily, it is inside a triangle pattern. If it can close above the memory resistance, it will give a breakout long trade setup. If this ends between the top of the triangle and the bottom of the triangle is acceptable to someone, for the possible risk, then it is going to give a breakout long trade setup. It's a biotech stock. When they go up, they can go up rapidly. And it is having bullish pressure one day earlier. So we could start to get ready based on that bullish pressure and U turn from today morning itself. If we did that, we could take a long position using intraday chart, and the position is already in a profit. How could we? Take a long position. Let's look at the intraday chart. Using the fine tune chart in the morning session, we use the five minute interval. If the stock comes down, hits a major pivot and goes up, then we could use the bull release signal and the bullish pressure, like I explained in case of QQQ. However, this stock didn't go down. It created the early range high and early range low and then broke out. Therefore, we could apply the early range breakout technique to take a long position on this candle. One approach is to see if there is another nearby major pivot, which was there, that was previous day's high. So one could wait for price to go above previous day's high, this green pivot and take a long position, putting stock at lower, early range and now it is going up 
if it starts to reverse from the daily memory trend line, then one might book profit. If it can break above the daily memory resistance, then one can hold on to the trend. So far, it is looking like that it is going to, so far, <laughs> of course, we cannot tell the future. So far, it is looking quite bullish. So we found one stock, high growth stock, ALNY, that is looking good. That is also a demonstration of how I find stocks. When I look at the radar, I goes first to the rows, which has many green and cyan candles. So ALNY was one. Let me add it to the top, ALNY. I can delete from here and then I can see B G let me look at IAC it's a retail stock and again before going to the chart we can decipher a lot it opened with a 10% gap up that is great news when the market is down then went up further by 3.6% close to close basis today it is up by 13% the flow candle color is cyan. It may give an optimal long entry point. And it is also having bullish pressure and bullish pressure U-turn, high activity. And it is at pendulum high, that is price extreme high. It is in an uptrend above both the direction lines. It is also above boundary line. Relative performance is of course strong. And option volatility is in the middle. So even before looking at the chart, this is not a stock that bottom catching traders will buy. But IBD style investors may look into that because it's a high growth stock. It is gapping up. Let's look at the chart now. And it created a sideways base. Some people may call it as a sideways base. We have this watermark resistance levels. It broke out with a gap up. Then it came down, retested the memory resistance. In fact, that was the time you could take a long position using the fine tune intraday chart. Let's look at the price level. The watermark was at 246.35, 246.35. That would be somewhere here. That would be somewhere very close to the low, lowest price move on this candle. It tried to go down and went up. Didn't give us any bull release signal. Therefore, you don't apply the bull release reversal technique. Instead, we would wait for an early range breakout and take a long trade at this point. Let's look at the daily weekly again. This has gapped up, retested the watermark resistance and so far it is looking very bullish. Again, not a setup that I personally like to take. I'm not a fond of breakout traders. However, there are other people who like to buy stocks at or near all time high when they break out provided they are fundamentally strong. And if they are at or near fundamentally, at or near all time high, they are expected to be high growth stocks, not necessarily, not usually undervalued stocks. So we found this stock, not my style, but a breakout from the top. Let's look at one more. Let me scroll down. This one. P A Y C, no, W W. Sorry, W W is looking even better, and even before again, before we look at the chart, it is having a huge gap up, 19.5 percent. Another 19.7 percent up move from there, total 39 percent up. It is giving a box long trade setup, possible go with flow trade setup. Of course, it has a huge up move already. It has bullish pressure, no U-turn, activity extreme price extreme low, that is nice. So th this is a stock that is going up from very low price level. It is in between the two direction lines. 
it is already above the upper boundary level that is expected because it is already up by almost 40 percent today showing is bullish everything seems to be bullish option volatility is low let's look at ww i think weight watchers weight watchers and instantly this looks interesting instantly in spite of the huge up move today this looks interesting because weekly created a beautiful base and weekly displayed that very unique bullish headwind signal at the very bottom this was earnings week after that price tries to come down touch this memory support coming from far 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 away displayed a bullish headwind signal right at that time one could start to look for buying opportunity that is after mid april april may maybe sometime in may so if we switch to the daily chart this was the earnings time then price retested the memory support and went up probably this is the cyan candle one could take a long position at the very bottom and now today it has gapped up one technique of entering the trade now is to wait for price to go up above the high of today's candle with the concept of bible gap up this stock is looking good too let's look at ww using q vital is it ww the symbol ww.o i want to see how is the valuation we know it is a high growth stock because that is from where we created the list in radar i'm doing a peer analysis it makes money weight watchers and yes as i expected why i expected it to be value stock because it is at a very low price level it has excellent valuation very good earnings quality short squeeze potential and we selected it from the list of growth stocks we can see three year two year one year earnings growth is pretty good steady at 60 to 65 percent slightly increasing over the latest period and it is a value stock has a short squeeze potential and very nicely breaking out today so we identified three possible trades one at the very top not my style but there are other traders who like to buy high growth stocks at the very top when they break out then another stock at the very bottom weight watchers and then there was the other stock the first stock that we saw that was a l n y that is also at a low price level let me look at a l n y if it is also undervalued or not a l n y dot o of course biotechs can go up whether they are undervalued or not doesn't make money earnings is negative doesn't pay dividend also the valuation is in the middle not undervalued not overvalued therefore in my personal style i will prefer weight watchers ww it has great valuation short squeeze potential very nicely broke out of a base at the very bottom that would be my stock among these three however there are other traders who might choose other looking at the sonar you could find similar and probably many other candidates even in this current market which was feeling bearish i didn't carry out a separate exercise going through the list of value stocks however we found weight watchers as a value stock also the same technique you can apply whether you are looking for value stock or growth stock what is my style i like to buy stocks that are undervalued and that are showing earnings growth so ww matches that criteria that is my preference incidentally i shared one stock in the india market we saw india market is bearish and i shared this stock in india market yesterday jkbk a bank jumbo and kashmir bank and see the same approach that i followed in 
global markets also. JKBK, it is having excellent valuation, undervalued stock, having nice earnings growth also in the last two quarters that we have data. Revenue is also going up. And when I looked at the stock yesterday using real-time system, I saw 15 banks went up, only one went down, and JKBK was the one that went up most, 9.99%. Nice revenue growth, nice earnings growth, great valuation, and then I looked at the chart. The bullish headwind came at the very bottom at this point that created a watermark support price retested that and at the right edge it started to go up in the daily it retested the daily watermark support and went up that was giving a box long trade setup we had extreme pressure also today india market actually dropped but how did this stock do jkbk let's look at that jkbk by the way in the forum or twitter i don't like to share ideas after knowing the result. These are not to be taken as straight tips, but very robust way of analyzing stocks using live market and see how very nicely the stock jumped up. How much did it jump up today? Let's see, jkbk.o. Let's find out from here. I'm using Refinitiv Zenith now, jkbk NS, that helps me track global stock. It went up by 19% today. That's a very nice profit to have trading stocks. All I did was to analyze the stocks using a disciplined approach. The approach that I applied to Jumbo and Kashmir Bank in India, the exact same approach I applied to US stocks to find what Weight Watchers today. These are my favorite kind of trades. Value stocks showing earnings growth. Unlike the IBD approach, which looks at stocks at the very top, which is also a very robust approach, not my style. Whatever be your approach using the Q technique, the sonars, the vital statistics, and the trade setups, you can easily find trade setups. We found several today also. Let me end today's session here. Thank you for attending. It's always a pleasure to be with you all. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.